So this is an improved version of a limited slip differential that I built originally about two years ago. I'll put a link to that right up there. And this one's better because it's easier to build and um, has less of a tendency to pull apart under extreme torque. So here with this limited slip differential, uh, the wheels can spin at different rates to some extent However, uh, when one of them completely starts slipping, the axle will lock up and distribute the torque to both wheels, just like a straight axle would. In that video, I went over exactly why you would want to use one of these and what they do. So if you're interested in that, you can check that video out. Up in this corner, I'll show you the limited slip in operation. It's from that other video. In this clip here, the car doesn't have a tire on one of the wheels, so if that was a regular differential, that wheel would just be sitting there spinning and it wouldn't be able to push the car up the hill. But the limited slip differential has locked up and it's delivering power to both sides. And there we go. A limited slip differential. There it's locked. There it's locked. And there it's slipping. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.